hello lovely people so this is going to be my weight loss journey um, I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible tell you a little bit about what I did or whatever I'm gonna try to include pictures and videos where I can um, I'm gonna I'm not really gonna include very many dates because truthfully I don't remember all of them and if I was to be telling you this happened on March of 2010 I will be completely lying to you because I really don't know um, the only dates that I really know is just like when I started and um, when I did my photo shoot that's really all I can tell you I can't tell you much of anything else so here we go um so just a tiny bit of background I've always been a bigger person like a bigger child um, I was taller than just about all the girls in my class always and for a while I was taller than a lot of the boys in my class um, according to my mom I didn't really start picking up actual weight weight until um, around eight or nine which is right after my father passed she believed that I basically went into depression and um, I started eating my feelings along with um, she believes I mean I don't know maybe true may not be true but everybody's body do react to stress differently and she believes the way my body reacts to it is by either gaining weight or holding on to weight so there's that uh, when I was in high school I was a cheerleader in middle school I did volleyball and cheerleading high school I just cheered for my freshman and sophomore year and then my um, junior and senior year I did do just band management which I gave up the cheerleading thing that's a whole nother story but basically it was too much drama I couldn't deal with it it was too much drama so I didn't want to be a part of it anymore I enjoyed cheerleading it helped me maintain the size that I was but I'm pretty sure anyone who's ever cheered know like there's a lot of favoritism when it comes to it and I just didn't want to deal with it anymore anymore like I just didn't um when I was in high school I stayed around a size 14 typically a 14 was pretty comfortable once I graduated high school I went up to a size 16 that was like my first year out of high school I was about a size 16 um, so I was dating my high school sweetheart at the time about I don't even know yeah I think it was about a year into college he and I broke up so you know the whole breakup thing woe is me what is my life I'm all sad or whatever and so um, I basically started eating my feelings along with stress from school and just all around bad eating habits like even when I was in high school as a cheerleader, I did not really fix my eating habits or whatever. Like, I basically just stayed my size because I was active every day. Like, I didn't do anything great with my eating. So, now that I was basically sedentary, you know, weight started picking up. And then I was, you know, eating junk, going out with my classmates to have lunch, like all kind of stuff. It started to pile on, pile on, pile on, and I really wasn't paying attention to it, quite honestly. Because, um, like, a lot of the stuff that I would wear was, like, stretchy stuff. Like, I was wearing sweatpants and um, jeggings and tights and stuff like that, or the little stretchy dresses. I wasn't really paying attention to my actual size. So, uh, fast forward to November 2008. I do remember this date. This is when everything kind of kicked off, kind of started. Um, so, two things did shift in me to make me want to start losing weight. The first thing was, um, it was a little bit before, like, the initial me starting, but it was kind of like, really put something on my brain. Um, we were going to my sister's ultrasound because she was pregnant with my niece at the time and they was doing like a 3D ultrasound and it was when the 3D ultrasounds was kind of new I guess or whatever and so my grandmother on my dad's side he came she came with us and 
at that time, my mom had one of those huge vans. You know the vans like they had the TV in it and the back let down into a bed? Like, she had one of those. And my grandmother is a bigger lady. And I was watching her struggle to get in and out of the van. And it really just kind of resonated with me because it was kind of one of those things where I know her choices in life is what you know made her have to be that way or ha had her health that bad should i say um now of course she is a grandmother she's older so i don't expect her to you know be running around here like a teenager but at the same time i had seen like other older people or grandmothers that had took care of themselves in their younger years and didn't eat so bad in their younger years that were able to get in and out of a van quite easily, you know? So that did resonate with me. But the main thing that like kickstarted everything was, um, it was like two weeks before Thanksgiving and I didn't have very many clothes. My mom was like, you know, here's some money, go and get you at least a few pair of jeans or something. Basically, I think she was tired of seeing me in my freaking sweatpants, quite honestly. <laughs> That's really what I think it was. I think she was kind of tired of seeing me wearing the same crap over and over again. So um, I was like, okay, no big deal. So I go to um, New York and Company, which when I was in high school, that was like my favorite store because to me, they're made for curvier women. Like they, um, in my opinion, they cater to fuller size ladies and ladies with hips and butt and all and legs and all that type of stuff which is something that I always had even when I was a child so I was like okay well let me go ahead and just go there the last time I had been there I was a size 16 so in my head I can still fit a size 16 but I'm like every time I go I always grab the size I think I need and one size larger always even now I do like I always do it because I'm like okay I don't know how stuff is gonna run whatever so I grab a 16 and an 18 I go into the dressing room the 16 these are jeans 16 will not come over like my thighs they come to my knees and basically just stop and I'm just like okay a little confused I expected the 16 to maybe be tight but I didn't expect it to be like that you know I put on the 18, the 18 comes like mid thigh, stop. So I'm like, okay, this is stupid. So then I go get a 20. The 20 would not come over my button hips. And I'm just like, all right. So by this time I'm kind of irritated, I'm pissed off. I'm blaming the store, saying that the store basically has just changed their size chart and that's why I can't fit anything. They're catering to skinny people now. They're not catering to the curvy people like they used to. Like I blamed everybody, everything and everybody about this store except for myself. So I go to another store. I really don't remember what the name of the freaking store was, but it was a store they used to sell like, um, like Sarah Jessica Parker, they sell Venus Williams, like that type of stuff. If you know the store I'm talking about, leave it down below. If I see the name, I'll remember it, but I really can't remember right now. So, um, I go to that store. I pick up, again, 16 and 18. Same situation. I go to another store. I think I went to Dillard's. Pick up 16 and 18. Same thing. I go to Macy's. 16 and 18. Same thing. So, by this time, it's kind of starting to click a little bit. That something maybe it's not right maybe i'm the common denominator here so i go back to new york and company i get a size 22 and a size 24. the 22 comes up but it's so tight it won't button 24 comes up it buttons but it is very very tight so it's like at that moment that's when i realized that i had basically got up to a size 26. So I am now realizing everything that's going on and I'm in the, well, not in the motor store, but I'm in the dressing room crying because I have just realized that I am now a size 26. And if I don't do something different, I'm going to be a 28, a 30, 30 I don't even know how 
big sizes go up to now. But it's like, I have to do something different. So um, I buy the size 24. I don't even think they went up to a 26, quite honestly. But I bought the size 24. Because mainly I needed jeans. My mom was like, you need to get some freaking jeans. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I go home and I Google. Um, I think my literal Google was like meal plans for women for weight loss. And so I just look around and I'm trying to find something with stuff on it that I actually like because a lot of this stuff it was all this like Brussels sprouts and all that crap and at that time I didn't eat none of that and I was just like I need something where I'm actually going to stick to it because it's stuff that I like so the meal plan that I found um it was a 1400 calorie I think it was called healthy balance meal plan something like that I don't know but I remember it came from one of those like women's health magazines one of them and so the meal plan was your basics. It was for breakfast, I think it was like egg whites, turkey bacon. Um, some days I could have those frozen whole wheat pancakes. And then some days it was just like the egg whites, turkey bacon and fruit or something. Like it, it had um, different meals for every day. It was one of those type of things. So I was like, okay. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this. So when my mom gets home, I tell her a snippet of what happened. I didn't tell her I was in the middle of the store freaking crying. But I was just like, okay, I'm serious. I really want to lose weight. Like, I got to figure this out. And so I begged her, because of course I'm still a struggling college student at this time. Um, so I begged her to get the food. I was like, um, if you could show me what to do, you don't have to, you know, really help me. But because some of that stuff I had never cooked before. I was like, I don't know how to make this. And so then I was like, okay, well, I don't know how to make it good. So let me try to, you know, have her help me. So she agreed. And I actually think we went that same day and got the food. Um, and then she actually had been paying my gym membership because I had a gym membership since I was 16 to 24 hour fitness. And so I would kind of go on and off, but I wasn't really motivated to go. So it was just like, because I think we got it on special where it was like $19. So my mom was paying, it was like $21 and some cent. Every month it came out of her banking account. I think she just wasn't really noticing it and just was like, okay, you can keep going. Still had it. Um, so that next day, like at this time, I still wasn't meal prepping because I really didn't know about meal prepping. Like I was really seriously like a noob when it came to like everything. So I was cooking every day, like prepping every meal. So what I would do is um, I would get up that morning I would make my breakfast. I would go to school, whatever it is I had to do. When I got out of school, I would go straight to the gym. And I would do, at this time, I started out doing strictly like cardio and mainly just the elliptical and treadmill. When I first started, like no lie, I could only do 15 minutes at a time on the freaking elliptical. Like I'm not even kidding. I was dying like I was so out of shape and I was like how did I go from being able to cheer a whole freaking football game to now I can't even do 15 minutes on the elliptical but whatever so I you know basically I was doing that um the first week of me doing that I did lose four pounds um so when I got home from the gym then I would start cooking my um my lunch and my dinner after a few days, my mom basically showed me how to like prep enough at least of the meat so I could have enough meat for a few days. Because a lot of times the meat that I was eating, it was the same things over and over again. It was chicken and fish. Um, and with the chicken, it was mainly just the same chicken. You just eating it with different sides or eating it in a different way. So like one day it might be a chicken salad. The next day it might be like chicken and rice. It was like stuff like that. So I was like, okay, so she, I would come home, you know, make my lunch, eat my lunch. Then I would do homework, whatever it is I needed to do. And then eat dinner, go to bed, do it all over again the next day. So after a few days and my sister could kind of see that like she might be serious. She convinced me to go to a cycling class. 
um basically what happened she knew multiple people who had taken cycling classes and they had lost a lot of weight and so when she and i used to go to the gym together sometimes we would see a few of her former classmates and so i know two of them that she used to talk to like they would tell me that they had lost a lot of weight like one of the girls said she had lost like 50 plus pounds one of the guys had said he had lost like 30 something and i was like oh wow that's awesome like i really want to do that but to me the cycling class was really intimidating like it was scary the thought of going into that freaking cycling class because it looked extreme and it was extreme but anywho i was like okay so she convinced me she was like okay well i'll go with you so we get to the gym let me tell you when she said she'll go with me she meant she'll go to the gym with me not the cycling class she did not go to the cycling class with me <laughs> but anyway i went um when i get in there i'm looking really confused i try to find a bike to the back i'm like oh my god so i don't know what to do and i'm like looking around trying to see what other people are doing because they're doing stuff to the bikes and so um a young lady she was like do you need help and i was like yes please because i was like i've never taken a class before so she showed me how to set my bike up or whatever and she and i will become friends later because she showed me how to set my bike up and i was just like you know thank you so my first cycling class lord i could not stand up i could not add any resistance all that running all that all that type of stuff eh -eh. by the time i left I felt like somebody had took a cheese grater to my booty. It hurt so freaking bad. Ooh, Jesus. Oh my God. Like it was horrible. Like I seriously was struggling to walk the next day. Like between just hurting regular and the seat killing me, I thought I was going to die. But I was like, I can't wait to go back. Call me crazy. I couldn't wait to go back. So at that time, they was having four cycling classes three days a week. It was like Tuesday, Thursday, and two on Saturdays, I believe. I went to all four classes every week. I did not miss them. Literally all four classes every week. And when I wasn't going to the classes, I was back on my elliptical and treadmill. So I was literally going to the gym seven days a week when I first started. So once I started cycling, that next week, I lost five pounds. Um, by this time, Thanksgiving comes up. Thanksgiving coming around, those size 24s were too big. Like, they were literally starting to bag. They were too big. And I was like, oh, this is cool. And so um, for Thanksgiving, I basically didn't really want to eat because I was just like, I don't want to, you know mess up what I just got you know what I just started doing so what I did was I did eat like all of the green sides I ate turkey and I got like a very very little like the tiniest bit of like the carbs so it was like the rice and sweet potatoes all that so I got the tiniest amount basically just a taste or whatever because I did not want to mess up what I was doing so um, continue on to I think it was December by this time it's my sister's um, it's my sister's baby shower in December because she was due in January so by this time I can fit into a size 20 so I went from a 26 to a 20 in a month because it was like right around Christmas time so in a month which I was like, okay, this is awesome. This is nuts. How did I do this? I don't know, but let's keep going. So fast forward to, D <laughs> this is funny, to freaking um, January, my sister is having my niece. She had to have a C-section or whatever. And so we're in there. It's taking forever for her to have this C-section. And I'm like, you need to come on because I need to go to my cycling class. <laughs> That's how bad I got. Like, I was seriously rushing her to have my knees so I can go to my cycling class. She had my knees just in time, though. I was able to kiss my knees, take a picture with my knees, kissy, kissy, goo, 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 leave her, go to my cycling class, take a shower, and come back. So I was coming back, but I still needed to go handle business, you know? Anywho, so um, 
fast forward to my birthday in February. My first day, my birthday is February the 10th. All right, sorry guys, I had to switch locations really quick. My dog groomer came. But yeah, so by my birthday in February, I was down to a size 16, which was like, oh my God, so exciting. Basically, I had got back down to where I started from in college. So um, basically in four months, I had got down to a 16, had lost five dress sizes or 10 dress sizes, depending on how your size and run where you are. So, um, keep going. I'm basically doing the same thing. By this time, um, I had started trying to incorporate the stair step mill or the stair climber or whatever you choose to call it into my regimen. So I was doing still my four times a week with cycling. And on the other days, I was hitting some other form of cardio. For basically my first year, I was a cardio bunny. <laughs> Cause that's all I knew. I didn't understand weights. I didn't know how to lift weights. None of that, strictly cardio bunny. So um, I think it was around April or May, I had got down to a size 12. Yay! I was basically smaller than I had been since like middle school. Like, so I got back, got down to a size 12. Um, let me think. So still cardio, cardio, cardio. Um, I graduated in December of 2009. By this time, I was still a size 12. Like my weight had kind of plateaued but my body shape was kind of changing if that makes any sense um and then after i graduated i think it was in march it was either march or april i can't remember the exact date but that's when i met a trainer his name was eric um he had just started at 24 hour fitness he was trying to network so he came around he saw us waiting for the cycling class to open so he came and he introduced himself to all of us um and he was just like, you know, hi, my name's Eric, blah, 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 all this type of stuff. So I was just like, okay, cool. So um, met him, we would see each other, we would talk. Um, him and one of the other young ladies, she, like them two start working out all the time together. And I was seeing the progress that she was making. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, whenever I'm ready to start training, I'm definitely going with her. So um, I think it was around end of March. I started have experiencing some pelvic pain. Did not know what it was, didn't know where it came from, had no idea what the heck was going on. Um, I go to the doctor, basically I had to go to the emergency room because I did not have insurance. I was not working, um, was, I think that's when they kicked you off of your parents' insurance at, it was either 18 or 21, I can't remember. At that time, all that jazz. So I had to go to the emergency room to try to get help, basically. That's when I found out I had cysts on my ovaries. I had one cyst the size of a grapefruit on one ovary and one cyst the size of an eight ball on the other ovary. So yeah, um, let me think. So pretty much what happened was I was in cycling class. Basically, I was doing a position they call arrows. You just hover over the bike. And every time I would try to do it, I would feel a really sharp pinch in my pelvis. That's what made me go to the emergency room. So after I did it, basically they told me they were worried about it rupturing. I should not do any kind of strenuous activity, no heavy lifting, no nothing. So I was basically kind of like on bed rest <laughs> for a few months. Um, during this time, I did gain weight. I pretty much was, had stopped all of my activity. Um, my mom started just like, since I was basically the one doing all the cooking for myself, she was now cooking for me and she was cooking bad stuff. And I was not smart enough to make the decisions to have grilled chicken instead of fried chicken. And have sweet potatoes instead of tater fries you know i mean <laughs> french fries so it's like it was my fault like i did it but i went up to i believe it was a size 16 so i went from a 12 to a 16. but 
once I was finally able to get surgery to get them removed um, after that I could not do any type of activity I think it was for two weeks after those two weeks I was released to do cardio um, and then after another week I was released to do like weight training and everything so I went back in straight heavy with my cardio again um, around this time Eric would like the trainer he would see me at the gym sometimes and he would be like hey you know come work out with me and so at this time I'm like I can't afford to pay you like thanks but no thanks because I couldn't afford it and he was like no like just come work out with me so I'm like cool <laughs> so um, he basically would train me and show me how to use weights so after that I basically fell in love with weights and honestly I owe that to him like because before that I was just doing cardio like I was a true and whole cardio bunny like you know so once I started like lifting weights and stuff my weight loss according to the scale was slow but according to my clothes in the mirror it was not, like my body really 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 changed like it was nuts um my waist started to get smaller my hips started to well i always had hips but like you know like i just really started to get this super hourglass shape i was getting you know muscles i had these really nice biceps and nice shoulders like i was like this is cool and so i still didn't really understand how to do the splits like all that type of stuff he also introduced me to uh, meal prepping like yeah it's like 2010 and I'm just starting to meal prep after I hadn't lost all this weight for two years so that's just to go to show you can do it without meal prepping although meal prepping does make your life a heck of a whole lot easier and by this time I had started dating this guy he was also a social butterfly <laughs> so my weight actually kind of like leveled off because we was always going out like it was always like going out to eat going out to drink whatever and like we were having fun but like I wasn't always making the smartest decisions but I will say even though my body wasn't really getting smaller my body was still changing during this time because even though like on Saturdays I would have a full cheat day I was still not doing horribly because like the amount that I could eat had changed because I was eating small I think it was six small meals um, throughout the day on my other days so like I couldn't I could never finish my food um, I still wasn't really by this time I wasn't really a drinker so it's like I would have one maybe two drinks and I'm done like I wasn't that type of per person and so like like I said my body has still started to change my stomach has started to flatten now like all this type of jazz or whatever um, so then what was it 2011 by the summer of 2011 I had got down to a size 10 I was actually almost getting to a size 8 which a 10 to me is my sweet spot if I get to a 10 I'm good I don't want to get no smaller I want to be no bigger a 10 is great for me to me it just works with uh, my body composition and my size so I got down to a size 10 and like I said I was able to pull up some size 8s but they wouldn't button so I was getting close so um, I think it was like summer to no summer 2012 was when me and this guy broke up so you know they always say breakups make bodybuilders so I really just start humping like full force I didn't have to worry about him anymore it was just like me in the gym all the time I was doing two a days I was getting up um, at five in the morning I would go do cardio come back take a shower eat go to work get off work go to the gym come home eat shower sleep like it was just a cycle um, by this time I started to be able to see ab definitions my back started to get more defined like it was just like all of these little things I really started to kind of you know change by my body I think it was around beginning of 2013 was when I really started noticing like something was like different about my body like I just I was tired I was getting tired a lot um, I didn't feel good a lot I was just like I don't really know what's going on 
I'm still going to the gym. I'm still eating healthy. So I'm really not getting, you know, what's going on. Um, the cycling had honestly slowed down by this time because the instructor that was there was no longer there. Um, they had tried to take it where the cycling was going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But one of the cycling instructors that they had got on, I believe she had stopped um, teaching as well. So it went back down to two days a week. Um, and then I believe by this time I had started teaching cycling. Yes, I was a cycling instructor. Yeah, so I did teach cycling. I taught it on, I think it was Mondays and Wednesdays. I taught cycling, I think it was for like three years. And then basically what happened was they no longer wanted to work with my schedule and with what was working. And like I couldn't teach anymore. So then um, I think it was actually 2014. It was like June of 2014 was when I decided I was going to do my first photo shoot because I had not taken any like pictures pictures since I had lost weight like everything was like gym mirror selfies selfies <laughs> and so like my mom was like I need some pictures of you you need to go take pictures so I was like okay whatever so I think it was in April I scheduled to do a photo shoot in June so of course you know I was going ham I was going ham I would be hitting the gym sometimes like three to four times a day sometimes I would be there for like four plus hours like nuts now I did love my body when I went into uh, pictures though I can't even front like I put in a lot of work and I got the results that I wanted needed whatever so I'm not upset about it um, so then a year passed and my sister got married she got married August of 2015 I think it was 2015 yeah um, so she got married so me and my mom was like, okay, we got to, you know, really get there, get ready or whatever. So for the wedding, what we were doing was we would have a smoothie in the morning. So the smoothies was typically um, half fruit, half vegetables. I would put some oatmeal in there and some water. I would just mix water in it or whatever to kind of save some calories. And then we would have like fruit. And nuts for snacks we would have either soup salad or like some kind of grilled chicken or something like that for lunch um, before I went to the gym I would have another smoothie this time it would be just like a protein shake so it would be like protein powder and water shake it every fast chug it go to the gym um, and then when I would come home I would have like chicken and vegetables for dinner so by the time I got to my sister's wedding I had got down to it was a size 8 like my dress was actually too big for her wedding like my I had to like pin my strap to my bra because my straps kept falling off or whatever so yeah I had got down to a size 8 by her wedding so um, right after her wedding I started to pick up weight have no idea why because I went right back on my meal plan like I was still hitting the gym um, every day I was still eating clean like still doing all of the stuff that I did to lose weight so I was like I don't understand why I'm gaining weight and it wasn't like a crazy amount like and it wasn't well initially it was kind of fast because I went from a size 8 to a 12 which felt like kind of fast um because in September yeah in September um Sean came down here to look at apartments because that's when he decided he was going to move here so by the time he got down here I think I had went back up to I think it was like a, a 10 almost a 12 it wasn't a 12 yet um then by December I was back up to a 12 and then I stayed in a 12 for a while though and then I went up to a size 14 again like I said at this time I'm still going to the gym I'm still you know meal prepping eating right so I'm not really understanding 
So then I do decide to go back to school or whatever. And by this time, now stuff's starting to suffer because I did go back to school. So before I went back to school, I had picked up about 10 to 15 pounds. Um, once I started school, by this time, I'm only going to the gym like three days a week. Um, my eating started to suffer because I was tired. I was sometimes um, having to be up at like five in the morning, not getting back home to 10 something at night. And it was just like, okay, I'll just stop and get something today and I'll, I'll cook later. Like, and that just kind of snowballed. <laughs> So then like the next 10 pounds, those were my fault. That was my fault. So yeah, so I went back up to a size 14 and honestly, I hovered at a 14 for a while. Like my body was changing, but I stayed the same size. Like I was still a size 14. Um, and then in, what was it? I think it was 2016. It was March 2016, actually. A young lady, her name was Estelle. Um, she contacted me on Instagram and she was like, um, would you be willing to do a 30-day challenge for me? And so I'm like, you know, okay, tell me a little bit about it. So basically what she did was she gave me a meal plan that was a carb cycling meal plan. So one day I might have three carbs, next day I might have no carbs, next day I might have two carbs, so on and so forth, carb cycling. And she was like, I want you to do this for 30 days. Um, take daily pictures, send it to me. And then at the end of the month, we're going to do a total before and after. I want your measurements, your weight, your so on and so forth. So I did it, which was great because it was right before we went on a cruise. I did this 30-day challenge for her. And I lost 20 pounds during that 30 days. So I was like, okay. So I'm dang near back to where I was. So I'm back down um between a size 10 and size 12 um now i know for a lot of people it's like okay well if you lost all that weight why is your sizing not changing that much and it's basically because like when i lose i lose a lot from my upper body before i lose from my lower body my lower body is a lot of muscle so i don't have a whole 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 lot on my lower half to lose so like when i gain weight a lot of it goes to my back and my triceps first and then after that it hits like my love handles and you know my midsection so my lower half doesn't change very fast it typically kind of just once it honestly once my lower half gets to a size 12 it starts to plateau and then it might drop to a 10 and then it plateaus again and trying to get down to an eight a lot of times when I get down that small that's when I don't have any but like I'm lacking everything pretty much or whatever so I did get back down to a, between the size 10 and size 12 and it was great but I went on the cruise and act like I had not done anything like I started I went right back into the to the eating habits um once again my fall can't blame anyone else but myself so then I go back to school stressed out all this type of stuff I'm still work at this time I'm working and going to school like during most of this time I'm working and going to school having really really long days and honestly what I feel like because by this time Sean was down here it was like I was having a lot of what I would like to call culture shock because I was I went from basically just having to take care of myself just going to school or just going to work to now I'm working going to school I have a man in the house like all this stuff and it was just like what is going on like so another like stressor basically that happened which kind of affected me a lot mentally that I didn't really want to accept that had affected me a lot mentally and this actually happened I think it was in like 2016 was um basically those girls that I told you about that you know I had met at the gym that we were hanging out all the time we would actually go and work out all the time too and one of the girls I was actually seeing her like seven days a week because we would always go to the gym when we wasn't at the gym we were at each other's house or we were out to eat we were going shopping like I knew her family like all kind of stuff and then one of my cousins 
on my dad's side, she had came and started working out with us. So we had like a little gym crew. And so one day, out of nowhere, I don't know why, honestly, like I may have did or said something that I don't know about, but they basically started having gang up on Chanel parties. Um, and it was kind of like whenever I would ask them to go somewhere and do something, all of a sudden, like they wouldn't. And then I would see a picture on Facebook later of all of them together. And this does include my cousin. So, yeah. Um, but with me being who I am, I figured it out before they ever even told me what was going on. Like, I was like, okay, I know exactly what's going on. And it sucked, but I basically just removed myself from the situation. And truthfully, that affected me greatly. Like, the gym no longer was what I felt like was my safe space and that's because since we were always together at this gym every time someone saw me they asked about them and I was having to like lie about the situation because I'm not trying to put people in our business so I'm like oh well they're you know they couldn't make it today or oh well you know they done moved and they're going to another gym on the other side of town like I'm making up all these lies for no reason because I'm really not trying to put people in the middle of this pettiness that's going on and so really I just no longer wanted to go to the gym because it was just like it was sad now because these girls who I thought had become like family and one that actually was family um, these girls that were my best friends are no longer my friends but the way it affected me was not good like and food truthfully like i said earlier like after my father passed it, it kind of became my coping mechanism it became my comfort and so when i was stressed out it's easier just to shut down and eat than it was to say okay chanel you don't need to eat that eat this or you don't need to do that go to the gym like you know so um i went back to just my poor eating habits and i picked up weight again so we flash forward to now now um i've actually lost 10 pounds but before making this video um i had basically total gained 30 pounds i went back up to a size 16 and my 16 fits fine it's not too tight nothing like that um, now I have lost 10 pounds. My goal for the end of the year is to lose a total of 30 pounds, basically to get myself back to where I was. Like if I could just get back down um, to a 12, I'd be fine. So that's where I am now. That's mostly my fitness journey. Um, and now I have been going back to the gym again. Um, the crowd has changed a little bit, which makes it easier and I'm trying to Just really get back in the flow and really just enjoy it. I still do have my bike So I either ride my bike or I go to the gym and weight train so Yeah, that's it. That's my story um, I hope I didn't leave anything out, but if you want to um, get some information about Eric who was the trainer I'll actually leave his Instagram down below so you can contact him with the meal plans um, those meal plans were paid for so I will not or I'm not gonna say they were paid for um, because one she did give it to me the other one was Google that Google one I have no idea where it is the other one I don't want to give out something that she sells um, if you are in the market for a meal plan Eric can definitely help you he's very knowledgeable like I've seen some of the people he's trained amazing amazing so I'll leave his information down below I'll also leave Estelle's information down below in case you want to get in contact with her I'll leave my Instagram down below because I am going to be documenting this change I am going to be putting information on here again um so yeah that's it if there's any questions you want to know, like I said, I am going to do another Q&A because um, people have been asking like personal question Q&A, school Q&A, me and Sean Q&A. I'm going to do some stuff like that. 
Um, and I am going to do a how we met. I'm going to see if he wants to do it with me. I'll do a how we met video. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was not too boring. I tried to include what I could remember. Um, but really when it comes to losing weight, like for me, it was just putting in the work, the effort, and fixing what I ate. What I ate was genuinely in the morning, it would be turkey bacon, egg whites, some sort of good carbs. So that's like oatmeal or grits. For my snacks, it was fruit, yogurt, or nuts. Um, for my lunch, it was either a protein, a good carb, and a vegetable, or a super salad. I would have another snack um, later on that evening. Um, and then I was also doing a meal before I went to the gym. So a lot of times that would also be a protein, a smaller carb, and a vegetable and then when I would get home from um, the gym it would be a protein and a vegetable so that's it my protein was always around four to six ounces my carb was always three to four ounces um, sometimes two but it really just depends on how I felt that day and how much I felt that I need and my vegetable was always four to eight ounces Fruit was always one serving. Um, my yogurt was always either half a serving or a whole serving. I typically did half a serving of uh, yogurt and I tried to drink at least a gallon of water a day. That's really it for how I ate from the first meal plan to the last meal plan. Um, by the time I got to that, I did start incorporating like actual protein shakes and protein powder and I would either do that before my workout or after my workout. Um, when it comes to working out, it is typically 30 to 45 minutes of weights and 30 minutes cardio if it's steady state or 15 minutes of high interval training if I'm really trying to just knock it out really fast. That literally, like my whole fitness journey in a nutshell, that's it. That's it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching though and I'll see you guys next time.